And we're going to start with a, a complex of movements like we did last time. So for this one, you're going to be in a down dog. From the down dog, you'll come forward into a plank. From here, you're going to do three mountain climbers where you bring your knees in and then three times of tapping your knees down to the ground and then back to down dog. So down dog, plank, three mountain climbers and three times tapping your knees down. And we'll go through that for a few minutes to start here. So you come to your down dog, come forward into a high plank, three times bringing your knees into your chest, three times tapping your knees down to the ground, and back to down dog. Down dog, plank, three mountain climbers, three knee taps. Then go back to the start. Good. Right, we'll do another minute or so here. So for those just, just joining, welcome. We've got down dog, plank, three mountain climbers, and then three times tapping your knees down to the ground. And then you go back to down dog and start again. Down dog, plank, three mountain climbers, three knee taps. Then you go back to your down dog. Good. Those of you I can see. All right, do that two more times. Two more times through. Last time. All right, once you finish that last one, come to stand. We're going to go through a couple movements for 30 seconds each. The first one's going to be a four corner lunge. So imagine you're in the center of a square and you're lunging to each corner. So you'll do two, they're gonna feel weird. They're gonna feel awkward, that's okay. You're gonna do two lunges on each side to the top corner and the bottom corner and then switch sides. All right, they're gonna feel awkward, that's okay. It's good to get your body out of its normal range of motion. All right, so we'll start those now. Lunge forward, diagonally. Lunge back, diagonally. Going to each corner. Good, and it's the leg that's moving out that bends each time. All right, three seconds, then we're gonna go to jumping jacks. All right, jumping jacks, you can do arms up or arms coming open to the side, your choice. Ten more seconds. All right, then we're going to go to a hopscotch squat after this, where you're squatting down, jump up, feet together. So switch, squat down, jump up, and feet come together in the center. Good. And after this, our last movement will be push-ups. I'll recommend you do them on your knees, but your choice if you want to do them off your knees. Five seconds. Two, one, and let's come down to the ground. Push-ups. This is our last movement, and then we'll do each of those one more time. Inhale to come down, exhale to push up. Just getting warmed up here. 
You don't have to grind through these. You can move a little bit slowly. Two, one, and come to stand back to those four corner lunges. And think about your toes can point to the corner that you're lunging towards. Ten seconds. Two, one, zero, and let's switch to jumping jacks. Ten seconds. Switching to those hopscotch squats in two, one, let's switch. Squat down, jump up, feet come together. Get through a couple more. Three, two, one. All right, down to the ground. Last move is push ups. Remember to inhale down and exhale to come up. All right, can you get through about three more? Rest. All right. Nice work, everybody. So today's workout, we're going to do a lot of single-sided movements. So we'll be doing left side to right side, back and forth. Um, it's really good to practice moving one side of your body at a time because usually we've got some imbalances there. So um, we'll do three different movements. We'll do the left side, then the right side of each movement. And we'll go pretty back to back with each movement. We'll have about five seconds of transition. That's not really a rest. And then we'll rest once we've done all three movements on both sides. And we'll go through that three times. So it's about a 10 minute set. The first movement is a to the side dead bug. So we've done dead bug before where you're bringing opposite arm and hand or uh, foot out. This one, you're going to bring both knees will drop to one side and your hand uh, with a small weight in it or with nothing in it will come to the other side. And then you'll pull yourself back to center. The other hand can just be resting down. So we'll do 30 seconds on one side and then 30 seconds on the other. And you'll kind of figure out how far down you go. Further is not necessarily better. You want to make sure you're keeping good core engagement throughout, that you're pressing out around your lower torso, giving pressure to your low belly and your low back with your breath. The next one is going to be a drinking bird to an overhead press. So this is our single leg balance, where you're coming down on one leg, keeping your back straight, and then you're going to come up, keep balanced, and press up. So you'll probably move slowly on this one and that's okay. Go so far, as far as you can with keeping your back straight. As soon as your back is bending, curving, or um, you're losing the straightness from your head to your heel, then don't come down any further. Come up, press up. As you're coming down, keep the weights really close to your leg here. Don't let them be out far away from your body. That puts more strain on your back. And then the last movement will be a side plank with a side crunch. So you'll be in a side plank and you're crunching to the side. This can also be done with the bottom knee down. Another great option. So those are our three movements. And we'll do one movement both sides before we move on to the next. All right, 30 seconds each. 
So come to the ground for the dead bugs. That'll be our first movement. We'll start in about five seconds. And three, two, one, go. Okay, we got 30 seconds on this side. I'll recommend that you inhale as you come out and exhale to bring your legs and arm back to center. Inhale, extend, exhale to pull back to center. Keep your chin tucked a little bit down towards your chest. Two, one, zero. Okay, we've got five seconds to switch. Probably don't really need all of it, but you've got it there. And go to the other side. Use your exhale to pull yourself back to center. After this, we're standing up for the drinking bird to overhead press. So try to move quickly through that transition when we get there. Two, one, zero. All right, let's jump on up. And begin. Keep your back straight and keep your weights close to your legs. And then keep the one leg balance to press. This one, it's better to move slow and have good form. Two, one, zero. We've got five seconds to switch sides. Two, one, and begin. Next side. Remember, as you're coming up from dipping down, squeeze your hamstring and glute on the standing leg to bring you up. Two, one, zero, come down to the ground for your side plank with a side crunch. And go. Side plank, bottom knee can be up or down, and crunch. Good, 10 seconds left, stick with it. Five, two, one, zero. Get ready to switch. And go. After this, we'll have 20 seconds rest, and then we'll go back to the top. Try to get through two or three more. And rest. Okay, we've got 20 seconds to rest. And then we're back at the top with the uh, dead bug, so stay down on the ground. Five more seconds. Two, one, go. Inhale to extend, exhale to come back to center. Let your gaze be up at the ceiling or maybe towards your knees. And done on that side, get ready for the next side. And go. More seconds, then we're going to pop up quickly for the drinking birds. Two, 
two, one, zero. All right, jump on up. And begin with your drinking birds. Keep the weights close to your leg as you come down. Exhale to press up and bring the weights overhead. All right, done on this side. Shake it out, ready for the next side. And go. Two more seconds, and we're down to the mat again. All right, down to the ground. Get ready for those side crunches, and go. Exhale to side crunch, inhale to come back to extend it. Can you get through five more? And get ready to switch. And begin. Exhale, crunch. Trust yourself to keep moving to keep your pace. Nice work, everyone. And rest. Okay, we've gotten through two sets, we've got one more set to go. So get ready on your mat for your dead bugs. Starting in seven seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Almost ready to switch. All right, finish on that side. And here we go on the next side. Just get through a few more. Two, one, and hop on up. Two, one, and go with your drinking birds. Remember to keep your back straight the whole time you're coming down. In line with the leg that's lifting. Two, one, zero. Get ready to switch. Keep your chest tall and open and go. through here. All right, come down to the ground. 
side crunch, go. Push yourself with your pace. Last time through this movement. Can you get through three or four more? And get ready to switch. And go. Last side. Dedicate yourself to staying focused for the whole time. Focusing on the movement. Just a few more. Maybe you'll get through five more. And rest. All done. Nice work there. All right, so we'll take a pause, and um, while you're catching your breath, I'll explain the next set, same exact setup, different movements. The first one, I think we haven't done this since the early days here. Uh, it's a killer, it's the, a side push-up. So you're on your side, pushing up. This will be our first movement. Second movement, it's gonna be a back lunge to a leg lift. So you're going to lunge back and then lift your leg up, staying on one side the whole time. So when you lift this leg up, you're really squeezing that glute here. If you want, you can choose to hold weights for this. You don't need them though. Lunge back, then you lean forward a little bit, lift up, squeeze that lifting glute. Then the third movement, it is good if you have a weight, you're gonna be doing a side lunge, only one weight. You're gonna lunge to the side, opposite hand and foot come down, then you come up and press. So it's opposite hand and foot, lunge down and press. Staying on one side for the whole 30 seconds. So first movement, we don't need any weights, side push up. We'll start this in about 10 seconds here. So get yourself set up. Ready to go in five, four, three, two, one. Exhale to push yourself up. Inhale as you lower down. Try to lower down with control. Don't just flop back to the ground. You'll get some work in by going down slowly. All right, so you can get through two or three more. All right, and switch sides. And start the other side. Exhale to press up. After this, we're gonna hop up for that back lunge with the leg lift. All right, can you get through two or three more? Finish it off strong. And come on up. Option to hold weights, don't need to though. And begin. Lunge back, lift that leg up, squeeze the glute. Again, this is testing your balance on that front leg. Kind of like the drinking birds. And rest, switch sides. Starting in three, two, one. And one point to look at to help you with the balance. And 
and done. Okay, one weight in your hand, and you're going to side lunge, go, press overhead. Opposite hand comes to the foot, lunging out. Remember when you lunge to the side, your weight is going back behind you. So your hips are going backwards, like you're sitting in a chair back there. And then really press up with force when you bring that weight overhead. All right, done on this side. Get ready for the next side. Go. Keep sending your weight back. Weight in your heels. Hips go behind you. Inhale to lunge down. Exhale to press up. Inhale, lunge, exhale, press. Can you get through two more? And done. 20 seconds. Get yourself ready on the ground. 10 seconds. Starting in five. Side push-ups, three. Two, one, go. Remember, we're not doing these movements that many times, so really push yourself through the whole 30 seconds. Push up with as much force as you can. Come down with control. You're working in both directions. One more. All right, switch sides. And begin. Bring the same energy to this side as you did to the last. Exhale, push up. You get through two or three more. All right, hop on up. Get ready for your lunges. And go. Lunge back, kick the leg up. So when you're lunging, you're using the front glute, the glute of the foot that's in front. When you kick up, you're using your back glute. Let your quad burn. That doesn't mean you need to stop. It means you're making progress. And get ready to switch. Next side, in one, zero, go. Keep that back leg suspended for a second, so you have to balance on the front leg. One more. All right, you're done there. One weight in your hand. Side lunge. Weight goes back behind you. Send your hips backwards. So your lunging knee is right over your ankle. It's not coming forward over your toes. Inhale, lunge down. Exhale, press up with force. One more. Get ready to switch sides. And go. Inhale down. Exhale up. Keep your momentum. Don't slow down because it's the second side. Two more. And rest. Nice work for everyone.
on. We've got one more set. Okay, starting in 10 seconds. Get ready for your side push-ups. Five, three, two, one, go. Make sure you're just using your arm to lift you up. Don't use momentum. Don't use that elbow that's down on the ground. Focus on the movement just coming from that one arm. One more. And rest, switch sides. Go. Last time through your side push-ups today. Again, don't use that elbow on the ground to help you lift. Just press through that one hand. Exhale, lift. And done. Hop on up for your lunges. Here we go. Lunges. Inhale, lunge down. Exhale, lift. Stick with it. You've got it. Down on this side. Getting ready for the next. And go. Find that one point to look at. Keep your focus. Don't let yourself stop. Done. Okay, get ready with your one weight. And go. Inhale down, exhale to press up. Push yourself on your pace for the last set here. That means your breathing's gonna get quicker too, that's good. Two, one, zero. Ready for the next side. And go. Keep that same pace that you just had. Inhale down, exhale press. Good work everyone. You're moving all the way to the end. Two more, maybe three. And rest. Nice job. All right, grab some water if you'd like it. I'll have you catch your breath here and then we're gonna do a little core finisher to end here. So for our core finisher, we're gonna work for about five minutes. Uh, we're doing two movements. We'll do 45 seconds uh, of each and we'll rotate through. First one's going to be a slow bicycle with a toe touch. So lifting your head and your shoulders off the mat, slowly bicycle, and then toe touch. Other side, toe touch. So this one, it's helpful to move slowly. It's not about going fast. Keep your low back pressed down throughout the whole movement. Second movement, is going to be superhero lifts. So down on your stomach, arms can be out like a cactus or out to the side. 
Inhale, lift up. Exhale, come down. As you lift, squeeze your low back and your glutes to bring you up. Come up about as high as you can and then lower down back and forth like that. So these ones are about slow, controlled movements. All right, so we're gonna start with the bicycles, 45 seconds. Slow bicycles with a toe touch at each side. Ready and go. Elbow comes towards your knee, toe touch, elbow back to knee, switch sides. Slow and controlled movement. About 15 more seconds. Five seconds, keep moving. All right, roll over onto your stomach. Superheroes. You're lifting and lowering, back and forth. Keep your gaze down at the ground. Don't look in front of you. That's gonna put a little too much strain on your neck. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower with control. And get through about four more. All right, back to bicycles. You don't have to pull your head up too high here. Again, it's helpful to gaze at the ceiling. Looking at your knees, you might be a little too crunched up. More important that your chest is off the mat or the back of your chest than having your head super high. All right, working for five more seconds, then we switch. And back to your stomach. Here we go, we're gonna keep moving through here. Lift and lower. Squeeze your low back. Imagining you can totally control which muscles are moving here. And you're choosing to have the lift come predominantly from your low back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Can you lift one centimeter higher than you have been? Five more seconds, then we're doing this one more time. All right, back to your back. Last time through bicycles, and then we'll have last time through superheroes. See if you can get your shoulders just a little bit further off the ground without pulling on your head. Fifteen seconds. One more round. All right, and come to your stomach. Last move in here, and then we cool down. Challenge yourself to really come up high and squeeze. Squeezing your low back and your glutes.
Ten seconds. And done. Nice job, everyone. Hope you're feeling some burn through your core there. Let's do some cooling down here. We'll do the first movement on our stomachs. So you're going to come down to your stomach and then you're going to cross your arms in front of you, kind of like their shoelaces, and then press yourself forward with your toes, drop your head down. Your chin will kind of tuck in to your chest. Just letting your head fall forward. And while you're here, you can play with having your palms down or up, or you can turn them back and forth. Right, and we're going to switch. So now switch your arms so the opposite arm is underneath. Again, push yourself forward with your toes, drop your head, and you can turn your palms up to the sky and then back down. A few more breaths here. All right, unlace your arms, and you're gonna stay on your stomach, but we're going to now stretch out our chest. So bring one of your arms out like a cactus to the side, and then roll yourself onto that side. The other hand can stay on the ground or come behind you. So if your left arm is out like a cactus, your left ear is on the ground, and you're on the left side of your body. Your body doesn't have to totally stack one side on top of the other, you're just rolling towards that direction. All right, and then come to the other side. Let your breathing slow down. All right, now you're gonna press yourself up to a seat. And you're gonna bring um, your legs kind of like a pinwheel position. So one shin bent in front of you, one shin bent to the side. If you've got a pillow nearby, it might help if you put a pillow underneath your hips. And you could stay right here. This might be a really intense stretch for you. If it's not feeling like a great stretch through your legs and your hips, Turn yourself towards the front knee. So right now I'm turning myself towards my right knee that's in front. And then I'm gonna start reaching down, coming down forward over that front knee, dropping your head down. And then come on up so we can switch sides. You can just kind of roll yourself behind and you should land about in a pinwheel on the other side. Again, you can choose to stay here. You might find one side is much tighter than the other. That's pretty normal with hips. And then if you want, you can come down further over your front knee. Two more breaths here. All right, and come on up, and we are all done. Shake everything out a little bit.